Corporal, Detective Corporal Kazim was deployed was deployed to escort explosive materials from Tapa to Chirano, uh, western, western North region. On reaching this town, uh, PAT, a motor collided with a van coming from the opposite direction. It was the motor that sparked the fire of the van. It took approximately 15 20 minutes for the first explosion to occur, by which time the community folks were all rushing to take a look at the accident, against all advice for them to move. Uh, there was a lot of disaster and casualties. The initial, the first responders to the team were the community people and those traveling by. With the help of the tricy tricycle motors, that the Pragyas, they were able to convey a lot of them and then the Ghana Ambulance Service also came in. As we speak now, they were sent to three hospitals and clinics in Bogos. That is Asida Specialist Hospital, Christia Health Centre, and then Inner City Clinic. Some were also referred to Tapa Government Hospital. We have in total 179 casualties. 13 deaths and 45 refer referrals. Among the referrals, three have been sent to uh, Confanoche Hospital. Thank you very much. So just to be clear, because the press is covering, you have 179 persons affected. Affected, yes sir. Affected, affected, sir. Yeah. Yes. And then 13 dead. 13. 13 dead. And then 45 referrals to Tapa Government Hospital. And three to Confirmatory Hospital. Fire service. Fire service. ACFO on him. Regional Commander, Western Region. Sir, um, I'm ACFO Fred Wahibi, the Regional Commander. Um, we received the rest press call at 13 sorry 12 19 hours um we received a call that is at the watch room of uh, christian fire station the call came from a radio presenter um, at trinity fm Bogos, sorry bogosu 12 20 hours our appliance was dispatched the regional control room at takradi uh, said takradi was informed at 13.05 hours, the first appliance arrived here. And whilst en route, they informed the Future Gold Resources Limited, located between um, Bogoso and Pistia Road, which is a mining company. They have a fire engine. They were called upon and they also came as a pump troop. Then the regional control room dispatched two appliances. First, they dispatched the Wasen Kropon fast uh, tender. Then followed by um, uh, Tapa Fire Station Fire Tender. So they came in this succession. The first of mine got here 13 05 hours, the second one 13 15 hours, the third one 10, 13 30 hours, and the last one 13 49 hours. When I men got here, that is the first group, the first appliance got here, they saw that all the houses here had been raised up and there was pandemonium, people had started. So they started their rescue activity. Then we realized that some houses had been engulfed with fire. So we started tackling the fire in those houses. You know, we had about 31 houses. 
then the next thing was we discovered that um, there was fire in uh, affecting an ECG transformer here. So that one also was uh, tackled. Then we realized there were bushes also affected over here to the other side, down here, and then the bushes around this business school. So they were all fought. It took our men, um, the firefighting, excuse me, the firefighting was um, undertaken throughout from the time they got here up to 17.05 hours when the fire was brought under control and finally extinguished at 17, 22 hours. Um, I, I, I witness account that was given because at the time the first uh, plants got here, the, uh, um, the vehicle carrying the chemical had exploded. So what account that was given was that this vehicle was moving from Tapa. Um, it was carrying um, ammonium nitrite fuel oil, 10 tons that was being carried. So as it got here, I think um, a motorbike had had an accident, it had fallen off the street. He decided to avoid it, but unfortunately, he had rather ran over the vehicle, uh, the motorbike, and then um, there were spots. Pardon me. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, so um, we aided in uh, rescuing 57 people. In fact, we had information after the count that 17 had passed on. Uh, most of the, those who survived also were taken to three facilities in uh, Bogoso and Tapa. Um, areas affected, that is ECG transformer bushes around and 31 houses. Uh, time search and rescue began 13, 10 hours, then we completed in, at uh, 18, 45 hours. We rescued five people from the debris. The challenges encountered, the nature of food from uh, Pristia to Bogoso particularly. Uh, it was very bad that we delayed our response time. It took us 45 minutes to get so I think that that is one. I think, I think the, the point is, and the point is barely even made, so that we can, your point is barely even made in yes, terms of the fire, the way you handle it, which is wonderful. Yes, so let's speak to NADMO, because yes, there are so, a lot of people yes, to be The so next NADMO is NADMO Rep. NADMO, NADMO. 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 Yes, Alex, you're welcome. Um, in fact, yesterday when the incidents happened, NADMO were at the, uh, at the centre, working with all other people, including all the security agencies. Then, um, we received some items because of um, the displays of the people who are at the parish centre through the president, the director of the president. So we received it this morning. We received items like mosquito nets, mosquito paws, soup, cooking oil, blankets, used clothing, mattresses, and packs of fries. And currently, uh, all the assessment is ongoing. And definitely, after everything, um, we will present our report. We are here on behalf of the president and the government um, to see the extent of this very horrible disaster that has befallen us as a country. I have received briefing from the various agencies, the police, the fire service, NADMO, um, and we are now going to go in, go out there to the scene and also go to the hospitals. And after the observations, I will speak uh, to the press. So thank you very, very much. Please, please, please. Are we walking? Let's walk. We are walking through here. Can't you walk, please? You can walk. Please, please, please. Open up. Open up. Open up. Which way? Open up. Yes, sir. Please, open up. Open up. Open up. Open up. Open up. Open up. Okay, then you should stand for a minute for them to play there. Thank you.
The ambulances came in handy. Yes, sir. You need to be careful. Be careful. Please. 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 Yeah. 
We are not saying don't take, but go back more. We are not saying don't take, but go back more. So that you are out of the photograph, you will be So go back more. Masa, go back more and take it. But if you don't go back, how can somebody be saying? Yes, you are going there. Look at your forehead. 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 No, these Stop, Charlie, take care. So he's coming to talk. He's coming to talk. Are you going to tell us what to do? Oh, no, 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 Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen of the press, and thank you very much, members of the community who are here. A major disaster befell us yesterday. It did not only before the community here in Apietit, it befell the whole of Ghana. And that is why His Excellency the President, Nanado Danko Akufuado, asked me to lead this government delegation to come and assess the situation and see what we are going to do for the people. We have come in and I have received briefings from the police, from the fire service, from the NADMO, and we have also heard from the chiefs. First of all, on behalf of the president and the government, wish to express our deepest condolences to 
those who sadly lost their lives from this very, very uh, sad incident. As you know, there was an explosion of a vehicle uh, which was carrying explosives, and that was the, the, the reason why we've had this disaster. So far, we are had at least 13 uh, people have died. Um, the numbers will change as we see more, get more and more information. We hear that you know there are about 100, and, uh, about 59 or so uh, injuries and 179 families that have been affected directly by this um, disaster. So government on its part is going to do everything uh, to support the families, to support those who have been injured. Thankfully, uh, the ambulance service has played a major role in the rescue. It was a rescue effort that was very well coordinated by the security services, uh, the, the police, fire, NADMO, Air Force, the ambulance service, you know, the district, um, security and everybody came together but we were very fortunate that we could call on 11 ambulances to come in uh, to support this whole rescue effort that took place yesterday um, and we thank the Ghana Ambulance Service for, for that effort. We are also looking into how to make sure that all those who are injured are taken care of. Some have been sent to Takwa, some have been sent to Kumasi, some will be sent to Accra um, to get the best care that we can afford them. For the houses that have been destroyed, we are already beginning to think about how to uh, rehabilitate and rebuild for the community here. So I want to assure Nananum that His Excellency the President has given us directives. I've already spoken to the uh, State Housing Corporation and with them and in consultation with the mining companies around here, we will quickly uh, try to put in place um, uh, facilities that will help those who have been displaced. So that is going to be one of priority for all of us. So just to assure you that government is fully engaged in all um, these processes and we are going to see to it that um, the people here are taken care of. We will learn lessons and those are going to be much later on but for now we are very very concerned about how to complete this rescue effort how to take care of the injured how to take care of the families uh, and people who have survived uh, and so we are going to work collaboratively to make sure all of that is happening and i thank all of you uh, for your support uh, and, and, and everything that you have done because it was a very collaborative effort people brought in excavators from the community and everybody pitched in and, and i'm very very happy that we are all working together in unity it's a sad day it's a very sad day for all of us and may god help us all and help us to recover from this government will do its part i can assure you thank you very much thank you, thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you.